Welcome students, we have a question, simplify square root of 53, negative 10 times root of 6. Now before we could start off this question, there are a few things I wish to clarify. Now whenever you see this term simplify, the meaning is you have to make sure that from the original form, the problem is reduced to a form which is manageable. That is the very meaning of simplification. For example, in this case we got a radical sign. And within this radical sign, we got two other quantities in which one of these quantities have got a radical sign. In reality sense, it is not all that easy to obtain the value for this particular expression. So the objective is to make sure that you are able to reduce this, boil it down from its original status. So that is the explanation that I wish to give to the term simplify. And the next question and the next important point is that how further can we simplify? The answer to that would be how far can you go? That is the simplest answer for this particular question. And the third important point is why are we studying simplification and specifically more so directed at expressions of this nature? Now you have to understand that we are living in a digital world. So any problem has to have a digital inference. In other words, if you want to solve a problem, you should have a digital solution for the problem. And to obtain a digital solution for the problem means you need to have a computer program to solve that particular problem. To design a computer program effectively, you need to have a mathematical model. And to have a mathematical model, it means to have complex expressions ought to be simplified. So having mentioned that, let us proceed. Now, I'm sure that most of you would have started off considering 10 times root of x to be as uh, 5 times 2 and then root of x to be as uh, 3 times 2 and then rewriting this as 5 times 2 times root of 3 times root of 2 times. And then what you would have done is you would have clubbed probably 2 times of 5 times root of 2 together. So clubbing this and this and then placing root of 3 like this. So this is actually 5 times 2, 10 and then you got root of 2 times root of 3 which is root of 6. Moving on, the general idea would be to take 53 and rewrite 53 as 50 positive 3 and then moving further 5 times of root 2, if you were to square, you are going to get 25 times 2, which is equal to 50. So this would be one of the inferences that you would have <coughs> had in mind when you disintegrated 10 times root 6 in this fashion. So having mentioned that, your plan would be to rewrite 53 negative 10 times root of 6 as, say, 50 positive 3, this is one quantity, followed by negative 2 times of 5 times root of 2 times root of 3. And then rewriting this as 5 times root of 2 raised to the power of 2 because this is going to give me 50. Now I need to have, <coughs> excuse me, I need to have another quantity to get 3. So you are going to place this root of 3 raised to the power 2. Now I need to have another quantity to generate this uh, 2 times off. So that's going to be negative 2 times off, 5 times off, root of 2 times off, root of 3. And then you are going to be rewriting this as 5 times of root of 2 as one package followed by negative root of 3 to be another package and then raising it to the power of 2. So you have found an equivalent which is for 53 negative 10 times root of 6 you can rewrite this to be as 5 times root of 2 negative root of 3 raised to the power of 2. But the question wants you to find square root of this. So this would mean taking the square root of this in which the radical sign and the square gets cancelled, giving you 5 times root of 2, negative root of 3. And clearly you would claim this to be the solution. Well, there is a huge problem in this particular method. 
Why? Because you need to take time to actually think of ways in which to fragment this in such a way that the fragmented quantity upon square produces this. Now, if in case you are given a question like this, say square root of 143, negative 30 times root of 10, and they are asking you to simplify, how long do you think would take for us to rewrite this quantity under the radical sign as a perfect square and then boiling it down to the final solution. In all honesty, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Why? Because it needs some thought process that has to go in in deciding in the manner and or in the way in which we can fragment this 30 times root 10 in such a way that the square of that quantity would result in this particular quantity. So the idea that I wish to state here is that whenever you are given an expression like this with a radical sign on, your first point of action should be is to convert this as a perfect square. That should be your line of action. Now there are two perfect squares that we know. One is a positive b raised to the power 2 which is a squared positive 2ab positive b squared the other one is a negative b raised to the power 2 is a squared negative 2ab positive b squared. Now whenever you have a negative sign, the perfect square that we are looking in is a negative b raised to the power 2, which is a squared negative 2ab positive b squared. So let us just, uh, let me use this space over here. So we are given actually 53 negative 10 times root of 6 and you got a radical sign there. So my intention is to rewrite this as square root of a squared positive b squared negative 2ab. This is what I need to do. Now my first two terms a squared positive b squared is actually equal to 53. And my second term which is 2 times ab is equal to 10 times root of 6. So from here, I can say that AB is equal to 10 times root of 6 divided by 2. 2 divides here uh, 5 times. So this is going to be equal to 5 times root of 6. So my AB is equal to 5 times root of 6. So from here, I can write B to be as 5 times root of 6 over A. Now, I've got A squared positive B squared is 53. So let me take this as 1. So, substituting in 1. So, in place of b, I'm going to use this value. So, it's going to be a squared positive 5 times root of 6 over a raised to the power 2 is equal to 53. Now, this can be further rewritten as a squared positive 5 squared is 25. Root of 6 is taken as a square, so it's going to be 6 there divided by a squared is equal to 53. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the LCM as a squared. In other words, you can simply multiply both sides by a squared. And this one would lead us to a to the power 4 positive. 6 fives are 30, 3, 6 twos are 12, 13, 14, 15. And on this side, it's going to be 53 times a squared. Now I can rewrite this as a power 4 negative 53 a squared positive 150 is equal to 0. So this is what I've got. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take let a squared be equal to t. So I'm rewriting a to the power 4 as a squared raised to the power 2 negative 53 a squared positive 150 is equal to 0. So this can be further rewritten with a squared being equal to t. This is going to be t squared negative 53 t positive 150 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic and we can solve this quadratic by using the quadratic formula. So I've got t is equal to negative b that's 53 plus or minus square root of 53 squared negative 4 times of 150 divided by 2 times of a. a is going to be my 1. Now 53 squared I hope you know the shortcut method to take the square. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 fives are 15 and you multiply this 15. 
15 plus 15 will give me 30. It plays a 0 and you carry 3. 5 5 is 25. Add this 3, you get 28. So 2809. So I got a 53 plus or minus square root of 2809 minus 5 4s are uh, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 5s are 22, 4 are 456. So you got 600 divided by 2. Now let me use the space 2809 and 600. This is uh, this is going to give me 9, 0, this is going to give me 2. And you go, you are you got 2209. 2209. It's going to be 47. You can try that out. So you got 47 times uh, 47. 77s seven are 49. I got a 4 here. 74s are 28. 74s are 28. This is going to be 56 and 5. So this is going to be 22. So clearly we have got the square. Now I need to turn on. So now we got t to be equal to 53 positive 47 divided by 2. This is going to be 100 divided by 2. This is going to give me 50. But the value of t, actually we know that t is equal to a raised to the power 2. So this would mean that my a squared is equal to 50. So my a is equal to root of 50. I can rewrite 50 as 2 times 25 which is going to be root of 2 times root of 25 which is going to be root of 25 is 5 and I can retain root 2 as it is. So this is my value of a but we know that the value of b is 5 times root of 6 divided by a this would mean 5 times root of 6 divided by 5 times root of 2 5 and 5 can be cancelled root of 6 I'm going to write it as root of 3 times root of 2 divided by root of 2 so root 2 root 2 can be cancelled giving me root 3. So this is the value of root 3. If you remember we started off the question by taking 53 negative 10 times root of 6 to be as root of a squared positive b squared negative 2 times a b. Now that we have got the value of a and b I'm going to substitute it. The value of a is uh, 5 times root of 2 raised to the power 2 the value of b is root of 3 followed by 2 times 5 times root of 2 times the value of b is root of 3. Now clearly this is nothing but a negative b right a negative b raised to the power of 2 so this is what you've got so this is going to be 5 times root of 2 negative root of 3 raised to the power 2 and the radical sign and the 2 gets cancelled giving you 5 times root of 2 negative root of 3. Now clearly you know root of 2 is 1.414 and the root of 3 is 1.7321 in fact I can take it as 1.7320 so I've got 5 multiplied with root 2 so this is going to be 5 times of 1.414 so that's going to be 5 fours are, let me write that down, 5 fours are 22, 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 5 fours are 22, 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 7, so this is going to be 7.070, negative 1.7320, so just try to subtract it, 7.070, and from it we have to take away 1.7320, so this is going to be 0, 10, 8, 6, and a 3 so this is what you get so approximate answer is uh, 5.3380 now you don't have to do all this I just wanted to show to you that we can still obtain a manageable numerical quantity in spite of we not using any calculator so this is the simplified result